everybody, welcome to the Frontier Preppers channel. My name is Bailey and today we're going to be talking about the fact that people never learn. But before we do that, if you don't mind, check our content. See if you like it. If you do, consider subscribing, sharing our video, liking our videos, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. It does let you know when we post new content. Without further ado, let's discuss. Oh my God, these people never learn. I heard that a lot throughout my entire life. Why I'm saying that is because let's say, for example, that a hurricane happens today. And I'm going to use a hurricane because it's one of the most common uh, natural disasters in the world. Uh, a hurricane happened. Everybody rushes to the stores. Everybody's buying all the, uh, all the tuna, all the bread, all the water, all the milk. Um, or the peanut butter, uh, quite frankly, they buy everything they can get their hands on. Two weeks later, the hurricane is all gone. The aft aftermath is gone. People go back to normal, whatever they call themselves, normal, and they forgot everything about everything. They're literally like unplugged. i never seen anything like it, to tell you the truth. They remove any every thought that they had two weeks prior of emergency, and now they're just zombies yet again. So here's my thing. If you don't learn from the mistakes you did or you, you made, because obviously if you run to the store during a hurricane or before a hurricane, it means that you were not really prepared. You were probably... Uh, spending too much time that TikTok uh, cat video um, and letting the, the, the Chinese watching you do whatever you do in, in the bathroom. Most people nowadays apparently they have to take the, the phone to the bathroom. Don't ask me why. I just don't understand that. But apparently that happens. And obviously they forget everything. So you can teach them how to do something. Ten minutes later, they literally forgot. And my thought on that is, well, maybe they just don't pay attention. Maybe, maybe people are becoming dumber. All those thoughts have occurred in uh, in my head. But I came to realize one thing. It's not just that. Is people just don't pay attention. People really don't pay attention and they really don't care of consequences because they have this firm belief that Big Brother will come and fix everything for them. So they really don't learn anything. They spend, they can spend a week without power. No electricity, no refrigerator, no, I mean, they may lose all the food they had. The same people that went crazy and pushing others to get that last can of tuna. Well, that last can of tuna probably is still sitting in their pantry and they will never be touched. Well, I, I, I really didn't need it, so I'm not going to eat it. Well, who cares? This will not happen again. That is a big, big no-no. Just my humble opinion. It's a big no-no. Because natural disasters, contrary to their beliefs, big government cannot do anything about it. I know. Don't Please don't type in there uh, the whole governments are controlling the weather. Uh, Let's not go into that, please. <laughs> uh, if, if that's what you believe, rock on. Uh, I don't, I'm not saying whether it's true or not. I'm just not going to go in there right now. But the fact remains the same. There is a lot of people who really need to start taking preparedness serious. I see comments in this channel and in other channels all the time 
I got a family member who have been prepared for 30 years and nothing has happened. I know such and such who have been prepared for 40 years and nothing has happened. You got to live your life. You cannot live in fear. Oh, no, no. I'm living my life. So here's the answer for all of that. I guarantee you that it's, if that person uh, never see a day of um, um, disaster in his or her life and it was prepared for 30 years, that person will be happy because they prepare in case if something does happen. And when things don't happen, we are happy because now we are okay. We don't have to worry about anything. Same thing with the same person with persons who have been prepared for 40 years. Nothing happened. Rock on. You don't see those people who prepare for a very long time wishing an SHTF. The last thing in their mind is wishing an SHTF. They really do not want it to happen because they know how critical and how crazy it will be. Because those people, usually they have studied things. They know things. They have been in the military. They have had a harsh life. They come from different countries where they face um, tyrannical government like I did. So they do not want it. They are preparing for the simple fact of insurance. Don't you have insurance? Don't you have uh, health insurance just in case? But do you want to get sick? I don't want to get sick. I have health insurance. I don't want to get sick. But I have it just in case. I also have full coverage in all my cars. I don't want to use it. But I have it just in case. And yet, people don't learn that an SHTF is just not a worldwide event. It can be a localized event. And it affects people on a daily basis. A hurricane is one example. Tornado is another example. Earthquakes is an example. Snowstorm is another example. Power outage is an example. So why not be ready in case something does happen? Because it's more important to watch, I don't know, TikTok videos and numb your brain? Well, if that is the case, I hope you enjoyed that tuna uh, can that you got and still sitting on your um, pantry. Because this one right here, I'm going to be eating good. Because I am prepared. So let me know what you think about what we just talked about today. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Like I was rock on. And I will see you on the next one. Bye bye everybody.